Hello drivers and welcome. Is customer service a part of your food delivery? If you answered no, I've got some insight for you. Now if your answer is yes, are you committed to doing customer service all the time for your customer, no matter the outcome? Well, this is an exciting time. My name is Russ, and I love making videos to help drivers like you. I've got vast experience doing this going on six years part-time, so I am so happy to be able to share what I know. That way it cuts down on the learning time for you. Customer service, is it important? Is it not? I would argue that it is very important. In fact, that's primarily what our job is. An example for you is an order I did today on Instacart. I got an order for a flower delivery going roughly five miles. Now when I got in the store, I was looking and it was a dozen bouquet of roses, just a variety of colors. I knew to look, how much did this cost? And when I saw the total $40, I knew this must be for a special occasion. So what did I do? Customer service. I reached out to the customer right away because I could see that there were smaller dollar values of roses and none were in a vase. I asked the worker and she showed me, she moved this box aside and there was the glass with all the nice expensive flowers inside. So after reaching out to the customer, I sent her a few photos of different bouquets, that way she would have an idea of what's available. And it ranged from say under $20, $30, and then $50 and $55. We went back and forth. She asked to take a close-up of one bouquet, and I did look at it on the top, and I could see the flowers were wilting and called that out for her. Then she picked out the $50 bouquet. Now, keep in mind, her order was $40. She picked out the $50 one, and she asked if the florist could switch it from a red bow into a pink or a white one. And I said, yes, let me ask her. Now, I also used my customer service skills with the florist because she looked like she was inexperienced and I just asked her if she could do it, that I'm helping out a customer and that it is challenging doing Instacart because I'm not the direct customer. So after talking about it with the florist for a little bit, she did pull out another bow and she was able to switch it. So when it was all said and done, I gave a cash tip of $4 to the florist because I appreciated her effort. Now, the order said it was $14, including tips, so I thought, you know what, let me share this with her because she's changing the routine of what is already there and what's available, and I knew that it would make that customer happy, so I was happy to do that. I checked out, so when I was a few minutes out on this delivery, I send my standard message connecting with the customer saying I'm going to be there. This is when she let me know the flowers were for her boss. So you can see what an important event this is, and I'm glad I took the extra time to help her pick out the flowers she really wanted. Now, I also know from experience, if you're giving a gift, do you really want the price tag on it? No. So I removed it, and I messaged her saying, oh, and I took the price tag off since it's a gift. And she wrote back and said, thank you. So I was able to go to the house and I had to knock on the door a couple times. I could see a gentleman inside and maybe he had headphones and couldn't hear me. So I was really knocking loudly. I introduced myself. I said, I'm Russ with Instacart and I have these flowers as a gift. And I showed him the name. He said, that's for my wife. So it was a smooth drop off. And then I let the customer know that the delivery was complete. Now, another part of customer service is I realized where these people were living, it was a little bit out in the countryside. They had two Teslas parked outside, but this house looked really overgrown with vegetation and run down. Now, I would imagine it's because of the housing issues here in California. Everything is so expensive, and who knows, maybe this lady is working remotely. So even though I notice all these things about the drop-off location, I have discretion. I'm not going to share that with the customer. And you'll see in my next example why that's important as well. You need to have discretion and you need to give great customer service. Later on, I ended up getting the tip was the full amount. There was no more, no less. And you know what? I wasn't doing this for an increased tip, although you would think it'd be nice if I'm putting in this extra effort and making sure that this moment is perfect for her boss, but that's okay. I accepted the offer and I committed to it, so I want to do my best job possible. Now, she probably will give me a good rating, and that's great for my standing with Instacart. 
All right, so here's my second example of customer service. Last week, it was a little bit slow and I was on Uber Eats. I accepted this Dairy Queen order, taking three items, these frozen treats, almost 15 miles away. And I was thinking to myself, wow, <laughs> do you want your ice cream frozen or melted? But I did a couple things involving customer service to help make this a memorable event for the customer. And I'll tell you about that. The first thing that I noticed when I went in the restaurant, the lady that worked there had shared that she was surprised with all these really long distance deliveries involving ice cream. Come on, think about it. Do you want your stuff frozen or melted? Anyway, she said that they like to put the receipts in there, and I'm sure it's not out of spite, but that way the customer can see you're paying so much for this delivery, and you could have just come in and got it yourself. Now, in this case, it was almost 15 miles away, so obviously that's not gonna happen here. I ended up getting a little small treat since I was there, why not? It was enjoyable. On my way to the customer, again, I sent a text message, and I'll put it up here on the screen for you. That way, it really shows that I care about the customer and I want them to have a good experience. And I ask for good ratings and, of course, a tip. So when I arrived at this unique hotel, they ended up being in a penthouse suite and it was meet at the door. And I had knocked and they weren't there at the lower door, but I went upstairs and there was another entrance there. And the lady was very happy to see me. And I did share, I have two delivery bags. And so I nested one in one and then in the other. And I said, oh, I'll bet you it's still frozen. So I did get an extra $2 tip in this case, which I'm grateful for because this took me 33 minutes to do this order and driving 15 miles. It was gonna put me in a good area so I wasn't worried about the mileage as much because I know I could get on the other apps and continue to make money. But I did wanna give my best customer service. Here these people are probably on vacation, enjoying their time, and they just wanted a little frozen treat delivered. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing my best. That way they're elated and fully enjoying their time. So with these two examples, you can see that customer service is very important. And let me encourage you, practice it yourself. If you're not good at it, just start out slow, smile and say hi. Send a text message like I had sent before that way. I think most drivers don't communicate at all with the customer. And there's times and places you wanna do this. I always do it when I'm a few minutes out. That way I have that good connection with them. And then I do contact them immediately if something's going wrong with the order. That way I can keep them informed as I fix it. So do this because it's part of your job. It'll help you get good ratings and that gives you a buffer in case something ever happened where you look poorly. The app isn't gonna deactivate you because of poor customer service. You're gonna have a bank of good reviews and they can see that this was a one-off that's a good reason to do great customer service. Also, a side benefit, yeah, increased tips. You know, we're not doing this food delivery service for charity, we're doing it to make money. So anytime I can give great customer service, I wanna do it. Now, I don't do it perfectly all the time, of course, because I'm a human being just like you. But overall, we wanna have a good positive attitude when we're working, work hard, and serve that customer, because that's our job. So let me tell you, here's one time that I really messed up. I had done this Amazon Fresh order, taking these groceries from Whole Foods to a wealthy area and dropping off at a house. Because of my poor customer service, and it was my fault, I only got a $1 tip. Can you imagine how much more would I have made from the base pay plus the normal tip if I had just done a good job and given great customer service instead of the opposite. So check that out next and I'll see you there.